Hello everyone. Welcome to College Algebra. I know that a lot of you must think that algebra and math in general is a really foreign subject, but I'm here to help you through that. Today we're going to work on finding the max and the min of various equations. You're going to need that TI-8384 calculator. So if you don't have it out, please get it, have it ready, have a pencil, and your calculator packet. All right, I think we're just about ready. See you at the end of this uh, assignment. Assignment has to do with using your graphing calculator and finding the max or min of an equation. This worksheet can be found in your calculator packet, and it is titled Finding the Max or Min. I've highlighted that worksheet on the left part of the screen you're viewing. And if you'll notice, the first four equations, those are linear equations. We've done some things with them in the prior worksheets, but are we going to find a max or a min? No, linear equations do not have a max or a min, so we won't be fooling with those today. We're going to start instead with number five. What kind of an equation is that? We've looked at that before. That is a quadratic equation. should be shaped like a parabola. Let's go ahead and go to our grapher. Move over to your grapher and make sure it's on. Go to the y equals and that gives us a screen. And I'm going to clear it so that we can put it in together. We're going to put in x squared plus 2x plus 4. So make sure on your screen you have the equation as it's written on my screen. We're going to do a zoom 6 on our window just to make sure that we were back in the normal window. And yes, there's our parabola. Now look at the shape of that. Okay, do we have a max or a minimum point? We would have a minimum. It's The parabola is shaping like a bowl. You have a low point of it, so we have a min. We're going to use second and our calc button, and we have several options. We've looked here a little bit before. We're going to choose number three, minimum, because that's what we're going to find. We're looking for this point right here at the very bottom of our parabola, but the screen at the bottom is saying, what is the left bound? So we want to move our cursor all the way over till we're definitely on the left of that. So we use our left arrow, and we'll just tap it and move our cursor over till it's definitely on the left. That looks good. All right, so when you're there, you want to hit Enter. And then we need to go to the right bound. It's asking, what's your right bound? So we need to move all the way over here. So we're going to use our right arrow and move on around over to the right. And it doesn't matter exactly where you go, but you definitely have to be to the right of this lowest point. So you want to hit enter, and once it takes that, it gives you one more time to, and it says guess, but it's actually going to give us an accurate uh, minimum point. So we'll hit enter a third time, and at the bottom of our screen, we have x equals negative 1. It has a lot of zeros and a 1 to the right of the decimal. That's essentially negative 1. So our minimum point, or our vertex, occurs when x is negative 1, and y is positive 3. So you'll want to write that down over here to the right of your equation. You found the minimum point of that equation. Okay, let's try another one. Let's go back to y equals, clear out what we've got. Let's put number 6 in. x squared minus 5x minus 13. Okay, again, Double check, always make sure you've put your equation correctly into the grapher. All right, let's hit zoom 6, although we didn't change our window. It's just a good habit to do that. Now, what do we notice? It's a parabola. It appears to be one that's going to have a min, but what can't we see? We can't see the min. So we need to change our window. And remember we talked about that if you can't see at the bottom of your screen, what is it that you need to change? You need to change the Y min. So when you click on Window, 
look here we've got y min right here I'm gonna come down and I'm sitting at negative 10 let's try negative 20 remember this is just a a trial and error sometimes to see so we'll hit graph and yes we can see the bottom of our graph remember that we have to see it to be able to work with it so we're going to do the same thing we did last time second calc choose min again all right now it's already over here at a good place for my left bound so I'll hit enter I'm waiting for it to take all right, then I'm going to go over to the right bound. Keep moving. Even if you can't see your cursor, you can tell what's happening by looking at those numbers down there. Remember that that gives you an indicator of where your cursor is going. All right, I'm going to hit enter. It's waiting for my third time. I'm going to hit enter the third time. And this minimum occurs when x is 2.5, so 2.5 right there and when y is negative 19.25 that's your vertex or your min for this parabola okay so you'll want to put that over here on number six now number seven is a cubic so it's going to look a little different let's go ahead and put that one in together go to y equals So let's make sure that we have that equation incorrectly. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 2. We'll hit graph. And it looks like this is a typical cubic. It's like a drain pipe. And it is going up, coming around, and going back up. So we can't see this tallest part. We need to change our window. Remember that we said if we can't see at the top, we need to change y max. So go to your window. Look at your y max, and it's sitting at 10. So we want to come down here and change that to, say, 20. Let's see if that gives us a good picture. Not quite. This is that trial and error. So we'll go back to window. We'll come down and make it, say, 30. You know what? I changed the y scale instead of the y max last time so that might have been why we didn't do it um, let's just change that back to one and let's see if that gives us a good picture perfect all right so we need to find this maximum point right there so we'll go to second calc second calc there we go max put your four all right, now I've got to move my cursor all the way till it is on the left of that highest point. Okay, coming around. There he comes. All right, see, he's on the left of this high point. Doesn't matter whether I were down here or up here. I just have to be the left. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And now it's ready to move to the right of that point. Okay, I'm definitely to the right. I'll hit Enter. And my final guess. All right, the max occurs when x is negative 3.19 if we round it, and y is 26. So you'll want to write that down. Now we still have to go find this minimum point. So be careful on the test. If you're asked to find maxes or mins, it means everything that's there. So we've in this one we have both. So now let's repeat the process and find the min. Second, calc min we're going to come around to the left of that lowest point and I'll go backwards a little bit so I'm right here all right we'll hit enter and now we'll go over to the right of it we'll hit enter and we'll guess which I always think is funny it's not a guess it's exact the minimum occurs when X is 0.52 and y is 0.62. So you would have both of those answers down. Okay, I think that just about does it for the max and min today. I hope you've learned a lot. I hope you no longer think of it as a foreign subject. We'll be back for the next assignment, so be ready. Study hard.